We can't let him down. Remember, timing is everything. Jack, I'm good to go. We move in three. Bringing two. out the main cause now! <sighs> what a glorious sunset. How is everything, folks? Do you like your table? Best seats in the joint. Everything's perfect, Turk. So, how are the appetizers? Uh, mine ran off the plate too fast, actually, but they looked absolutely scrumptious. Well, get ready for the entree. Uh, fish and, uh, chips. Surprise. And some of our finest coconut milk compliments of the house. <laughs> This is all so wonderful. Us, here, together. There's no place I'd rather be. safety. is called Hista. Many years ago, when I was very young, Hista came and... Oh, I remember. That snake terrorized us for weeks. There was no escaping him. We thought he had gone. Until now. Well, we're just lucky Moyo was around to save us. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of who was around and who wasn't, where was our fearless leader while we were becoming snake food? I... I was with Jane. <laughs> and how do we know you won't be with her the next time? Or the time after that? I may be old-fashioned, but back in my day, gorillas weren't led by humans, they were led by other gorillas. Kerchak chose Tarzan to lead this family. Yeah! Everything about this guy just screams authority figure. And talk about strong! Look at these muscles! 
Work with me here, will you? He's a human with a human wife. He has two families. His loyalty will always be divided. Tarzan has already proven how much he cares for this family. Yes, but if he had to choose between Jane or the family, which would it be? A guerrilla leader would always put the family first, without hesitation. I challenge Tarzan for leadership. Don't do this, Mona. He can if he wants. Anyone can challenge the leader at any time. Yeah, he's right. Those are the rules. Absolutely. You're very capable, Moyo. But you're not ready to lead yet. We'll see about that. Every leader has to face challenges, Tarzan. I know. Then what's troubling you? I should have been here to protect the family. To protect you. You can't be everywhere. The truth is, Moyo is right. I'm not sure what I would do if... if I had to choose between Jane and the family. There's no choice to make, Tarzan. Jane is part of the family. I wish that were true. Moyo's a softball. Come on, you own this guy. Keep the blows low and inside. He's nothing. I'm telling you, nothing. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. I, I mean, you know. Goodbye. Now you all know how this works. The leader and the challenger will both climb into the tree. Yeah, the first one to touch the ground loses. And the one remaining in the tree is our leader. Tarzan, Moyo, take your positions. May the best gorilla win. That's Tarzan, by the way. <laughs> I know you're only thinking of the good of the family. I don't have any hard feelings. Do-over. Yeah! Tarzan only fell in the process of saving Moyo's behind. No. The rules are clear. You have a new leader now. Moyo! 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 Oh, you were robbed, Tarzan! I'm telling you, you should ask for a rematch. Moyo won, Turk. Accept it. Where's everyone going? 
Let's hurry, people. We have a lot of ground to cover today. What's going on, Moyo? I'm taking the family around the jungle's outer loop. We'll be back in a few weeks. Hista should be gone by then. Leaving is more dangerous than staying. We know this terrain. You don't lead this family anymore, Tarzan. You're welcome to come with us. But I make the decisions now. I'm staying with Jane, and our home is here. I understand. You should go. Follow Moyo. No way! If you ever respected me as a leader, you'll do what I say. You're gorillas. You belong with the family. You belong with the family, too. Both of you. Take care. We'll see you in a few weeks. Hey, you'll always be leader to me. here tonight. Did you know that pythons, like Hista, have extremely poor eyesight? No, I didn't, actually. They find their prey by sensing body heat. Mm, fascinating. There was a strong wind from the east last night. I just hope that Moyo remembers to... Don't worry, Tarzan. I'm sure that they'll be safe. You're right. They're probably getting along just fine without me. I'm, uh, I'm going to get some fruit. gathering. I know how much you miss them, Tarzan. How? Oh. How can you know? Because I miss them too. I don't think we should go this way. Excuse me, but Tarzan always steered clear of this area. Well, I'm not Tarzan. We go through. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Once a leader, always a leader. It's Baby! The gorillas. Something's wrong. with it. is just not coming out. You know what'll clear that right up? A little hippo sweat. Uh, uh, then again, black can be very slimming. 
I owe you both an apology. Oh, I, I don't think you... I should have realized all along. Jane is your family, Tarzan. And that makes her our family as well. I am stepping down as leader of this family. I'm not ready yet. You will be. Soon. Maybe. But for now, I'll watch and learn from a real leader. Tarzan! So how come Max turned out so normal? With a dad like Goofy, it had to be hard. Up next on Disney Cinemagic, they're the Goof Troop, and they always stick together. How about here? Hmm, possibly. I'm not sure about the light. I don't get it. Why paint a parrot? Because they're so beautiful. Just look at the vibrant colors. If you want to look at a bird, go outside. There's only a bazillion of them in the jungle. But that's not the point, Turk. The painting is about how I see the parrot. Uh, it's a way of remembering this thing of incredible beauty. Oh, what about here? Sure. I think you broke the treehouse. That wasn't me. doing here? Uh, nothing. I'm just Logan, that's all. Who said you could destroy my jungle? Marco! He told us to clear the timber! Hey, count me out of this. I, I don't want any trouble. Take me to this Markham. Call him. Mr. Markham, sir? Everything all right, Walter? I heard the engine switch off. Yeah. We, uh, had a little incident back there. Something I can help you with, mister? Take your machines and get out of my jungle. Your jungle? Does that mean you own it? The jungle belongs to no man. <laughs> well, you see, that's where you're wrong, friend. It belongs to me, Bob Markham. I got the papers here that grant me the timber rights to a thousand acres of this jungle. Technically, you're trespassing on my property, but I like being a good neighbor, so 
I won't have you arrested. Paper or not, this is my family's home, and I will protect it. Daddy! Daddy! Oh, my! Abigail, you are getting to be a big girl. <laughs> Who's this, Daddy? Well, honey, this is, um... Tarzan. You're just kind of funny, Mr. Tarzan. Look what I found! Ah, oh, it's very pretty, Abby. Mmm. Oh, it smells good, too. Why don't you go inside the tent now, honey? Daddy's got some business he has to finish. Okay. Bye, Mr. Tarzan. Bye. You see, Tarzan, you're not the only one who has a family to protect. Good night, little duckling, said the moon. And the little duckling fell fast asleep. Ah, that was my favorite story when I was your age. You're nice. Why, thank you, Abby. I think you're nice, too. You don't look like Tarzan. You look like a normal person. <laughs> well, that's because I come from England. Tarzan, on the other hand, was raised by gorillas here in the jungle. Seems like only yesterday Abby's mother was reading to her like that. Been over three years since she passed. Abby's all I have in the world now. That's why I came to Africa, to give her the best life I could. By destroying the jungle? People need lumber, Tarzan. Well, this very house is built of wood. And quite a bit of it, too. My concern, Mr. Markham, is not with the harvesting of lumber per se, but in the way you are harvesting it. The jungle is an ancient and delicate ecosystem. Uh, tampering with it could be disastrous. Listen, I've sunk every penny I have into this logging enterprise. I'm not going belly up over some posy that might get squashed. See my flower? Yes, it's very beautiful. Starting to get a little wilty, though. Well, I know how you can keep it looking pretty forever. Really? Here, put the flower carefully inside this book. Now gently close the cover. Like this? Yes. Then in a week or so, it will be perfectly preserved. Come on. Can't we come to some sort of compromise? Compromise? Yeah. Is there anywhere I could log which would be acceptable to you? Well, I would think the further away from the gorillas, the better. <sighs> All right. You can log on the south side of the river. Far from here. Great. See? I knew we could work something out. You did what? Why didn't you just send that log up packing? It was a compromise. Now everyone is happy. I don't know about this whole compromise thing, you know? I mean, you're going soft in your old age, buddy. I mean, when was the last time you used this, huh? <laughs> I've been looking all over for that. Excellent for weeding the garden, you know. You see? This right here is compelling evidence for my case. Relax, Turk. Markham and I have an agreement. Perhaps you should have gotten it in writing? Ain't my fault. The, the boss gave the okay to lock in this part of the jungle. We were just following his orders. Markham! Abby, why don't you go brush your teeth and get ready for bed? But I already brushed them. Well, brush them again, sweetie. I have to talk to Mr. Tarzan. Oh, yes, Daddy. I know why you're here. Bye. We had an agreement. You broke it. That land is all bogged. They'd sink in the muck. But the gorillas... Look, I tried it your way, but it didn't work out. So I'm doing what I have to do for my family. For Abby. Then I will do what I have to for my family. is the Tarzan I remember. I only see two of the bulldozers. We're not gonna hurt anybody, are we? No, we're just going to stop those machines from doing any more damage. You mean us against those big, scary, loud, metallic things? I don't know. Gentle, how do you expect Tarzan to keep up his action hero image when one of his very own sidekicks can't even... Shh, do you hear that? Hey, what's going on? It's over there, look out!
something's wrong. Do you think? That maniac tried to run us over. I mean, doesn't that seem a bit drastic? A bit. No, something's wrong with the driver. I said he tried to run us over. Weren't you listening? Anybody care to explain what all the wreck... Ah! to stay on the job. Nah, nah, don't worry, Walter. I think we can manage without you for a day or two. His breathing's irregular. And I've never seen a rash quite like this. Nah, I'm sure it's just a 24-hour flu. Nevertheless, I'll take a sample for study. Well, it's just about the darndest thing. Walter's usually as healthy as a horse. I do have a theory about what's causing his illness. Oh? Yeah, what's that? You! Me? Yes, you! You and all your confounded machines that have been tearing up the jungle! You've obviously released some long dormant virus or bacteria. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. You're just trying to scare me off this land. Well, it won't work. Now get out of my camp. You heard me. Get out of here. And don't come back. You know, I can't help but notice that we still have the logger problem. A minus one bulldozer. Minus one bulldozer. Now, if you ask me... I didn't ask you. Yeah, and that's a recurring problem, I've noticed. Anywho, I think our problem was this whole covert ops business. But I felt so stealthy! Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm? Uh, think nothing of it, Tantor. Fascinating. See, what we need to do is hit them head-on, full force, head-to-head, toe-to-toe! I'm afraid that won't be necessary, Turk. This virus will take care of Markham and his men soon enough. Daddy? It's what I try to explain to Mr. Markham. Tampering with the jungle's ecosystem is dangerous. You see, jungle soil is home to thousands of ancient microbes. You know, germs, bacteria, and whatnot. Oh, I know just the type. Shh. Well, I do. When Markham tore through here all willy-nilly, he unearthed hundreds of microorganisms. But at least one of them is deadly. Quite deadly indeed. We must warn Markham and his men. You already have, Tarzan. I just wouldn't listen. <laughs> the virus hit them hard and fast. Daddy. So what do you think, Professor? These men are very ill. Without a cure, they will most certainly die. Well, we'll just have to find a cure. Not now, Abby. Easier said than done, Mr. Markham. <sighs> Abby! I, I don't feel very good. Shh, sweetie. Daddy will take care of you. I know you have nothing to gain in helping me. We will help you. You're a good man, Tarzan. Professor. I shan't rest until I've found a cure. Oh, you're not serious. You're not really gonna help that Markham guy. His men are sick. Yeah? And what's gonna happen if you cure them? You think Markham is just gonna say, Oh, thank you, Tarzan, and walk out of here? I, I don't think so! He'll go right back to bulldoze in the jungle. Maybe. We can't control what Markham does. We can only do what's right. Markham and his men will die if we don't help them. Hey, I don't mean to sound cold or nothing, but that's their problem! In what way is that not cold? You've just gone soft, that's all. I remember when the title Lord of the Jungle carried some real weight behind it. Turk. I mean, whatever happened to good old-fashioned poetic jungle justice, huh? Bad guys come here looking for trouble and get what's coming to them. Turk, what about Abby? Abby? 
Markham's little girl. You mean the really cute little one with the big eyes and the sweet smile? What about her? She's also very sick. Oh, what'd you have to go and bring her up for? Come on, let's get to work. And then the princess plucked the flower's petals off one by one and threw them into the river. While she chanted, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. Easy, Abby. Now try to rest. Jane, am I gonna feel better? Well, I certainly think so. My father's promised to find a remedy and he's never let me down. My daddy's never let me down either. Well then, I think we should both be quite fine. Now, doctor's orders. Get some rest. Yes, ma'am. Don't let us down, Daddy. A cure is conceivable, but I must have these ingredients. I'll find them. Wait. I know this jungle better. Tarzan, my daughter's life is on the line. Then we go together. Great. What's next? The sap of a Durama tree. That'll be a breeze. No, it won't. Why do you say that? Mm. The Durama tree belongs to Buto. You get the sap. I'll deal with Buto. I'd say I got the better end of that bargain. Pulled his tail. This is the last one? Yes, the flowers are just over this hill. Or at least they used to be. This is the only place where you can find the flowers? It was. You wanted to do the right thing for your daughter. You just made a mistake. Yeah, big mistake. Uh, glowing lichen, yes. Borgweed, excellent. Derumba tree sap, and... Uh, what about the... How are you feeling? Not very good. <coughs> Can you read me a story? Sure, darling, sure. Once upon a time in a kingdom far away. What's this? 
Where'd you get this flower? In the jungle, remember? Why, uh, why, this is the very flower we need! I'll have a cure whipped together in no time! What's everybody so happy about, Daddy? Everything. Next! Brace yourselves! Yo! Next! Uh, I tell you, Mr. Markham, I feel like a million bucks. Glad to hear it, Walter. Glad to hear it. Get back! Uh. I'm telling you, Markham and his men are going right back to log in the jungle, just like I said they would. Relax, Turk. Hey, this is what you get for being all Mr. Nice Guy and doing the right thing. Hey! You need a makeover, buddy. Time to shed the softer, gentler image and go for the dark, brooding, vengeful Lord of the Jungle thing. Turk. Make sure you get that area. Don't miss a spot. Come on, people, you're on the clock here. What kind of logging is this? They're not logging. They're planting. Here you go. Plant them about a quarter of an inch deep. Irrigation, anyone? There. In a few months, this field will be blooming with those pretty flowers again. What do you think about that, Abby? Can't you? <laughs> it? I'm not it. I'll have you know I haven't been it since I was ten years old. I can't thank you enough, Tarzan. What will you do now? I don't know. But it'll be something a little less destructive, that's for sure. I hate to think what might have been lost forever because of me. At least, it wasn't your daughter. <laughs> hey, wait up! Oh, here I come! I'm the gorilla on He has to learn to be the greatest of greatest rulers. Kuzco must take on every task and learn every trick in the book. Next on Disney Cinemagic, we're at the Emperor's New School.